guys. I know it's been a little bit, but we've been busy around here doing things and all that good stuff. And we'll have to get you all caught up one of these days, but we've got quite a bit of stuff going on this morning here, don't we? Mm -hmm. You might hear a drill in the background and Papa's working on the kitty condo again. He's got another, another expansion to it already. <laughs> so, but we're getting ready to do something that you've waited years to do. Yeah. Well, I've wanted to for a long time. Yeah, just haven't been, haven't, haven't had enough room. We haven't, uh, when we had room, we just, that wasn't part of the plan. But man, I'll tell you what. Well, we're, I think now more so than any of that, it's more, we have goals for our future that yeah. incorporates a greenhouse. So, it does. <clears throat> so so that's, today we're that's, building a greenhouse. That's the reason is because we have, we have a reason that we want to for uh, future business that we're wanting to get going yeah so. yeah so we are going to be putting up a greenhouse today I'll be back and forth between working with mama and doing a few things with the chickens and pop up at there at the porch and we'll just have to turn you around and let you see what Papa's doing he's got this nifty nifty little gun thing he's got yeah, going he got on a, he got a screw gun that you can stand up and screw the deck boards on <laughs> it's pretty amazing so you'll have to check it out on the video that I'm gonna be doing for a few minutes here um, I'll probably just put it in this video since we're talking about it so who knows we'll see <laughs> <laughs> all right well you ready to get started well I, let's just talk about what we're doing here okay. so we got got the um, materials picked up the other day so we got the, the greenhouse plastic here um, got that and I got that from I can't remember where maybe we'll put a link in the well, or put, a link put it the on the screen or yeah. something so where we got that we got the cattle panels and we got the lumber so I'll just try to talk along the way of how I'm building it and what what each all the different lumber is for and you can probably see that our ground is out of level but uh, I'm gonna make it I'm gonna build it to where it's it's level and then probably build up the um, ground to uh, to work that out but, so I'm gonna build the greenhouse level yep. yeah. and that was from farm Farm Plastic Supply. Oh, Farm Plastic Supply. Yep. Um, also got from them the uh, woven fabric, the blackout yep. fabric, uh, to go on the ground to co to keep the weeds from coming up through. That's what I was getting ready to talk about. Oh, so sorry. That's okay. No, we have found that um, we had heard, um, what is it, Living Traditions Homestead. What about it? Sarah and Kevin, they were talking about that fabric, and so we wanted to try it out. So we got a shorter roll. And we've tried it out in a strip up at the front that we want to plant um, for some um, starts for some plants and different things like that. And uh, found that it's easy to work with and it's, it does its job. And so we got that. We also got the silage tarp. Yeah. And then that'll be another video that's coming because we're going to put um, silage tarp down out front and get a garden going out there. So, because I'm ready to do some canning, folks. I like canning. Yep. So, get some good food growing this summer coming up. Mm -hmm. But we need to get the seeds in the ground first. And to get the seeds and the plants in the ground, we need the greenhouse. So, we're going to get started on that today. Yep, yep. yep. All right. Let's All do right. this. Let's go. All right. I'm uh, measuring the distance from the fence from that corner to this corner and then I'm going to stretch a string from that one to this one that way it'll, it'll be kind of straight along the side uh, with the fence so I think it'll look better that way. <laughs> So as usual, I spend most of the morning looking, or most of my time looking for stuff. So I found, I couldn't find, I have a, pan, a can of red spray paint for marking where the holes go. Yeah, so I haven't found that, but I found this can of primer, so I don't even know what color it is. <laughs> but I gotta get on with it, so here we go. So this uh, uh, greenhouse is gonna be 25 feet long and uh, 10 feet wide, so, um, because the cattle panels are 50 inches and so I've, I'm doing six panels and six panels times 50 inches is 300 inches which is 25 feet so um, 
normally you would think you know all oh, those are four foot panels so that's 24 feet right well it's not it's 25 feet so you got to figure things like that out with however many uh panels you're using and add that extra if you're using 48 inch panels they make those but the cattle panels are 50 inches and that's what i'm using so um i got those laying out there and so anyhow that's 25 feet is what the total is so i'm going to bring my other corner post right at 25 feet <laughs> I just looked it looks like maybe the camera shut off um, so I don't know what we missed but anyhow here's where we're at right now putting the sides up on this first side here She's not spoiled. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see that we've got a little bit going on here. Um, this is day two of our greenhouse build. Um, yeah, we ran out of time yesterday. We did, it got dark. Well, not time, daylight. <laughs> daylight, <laughs> got dark on us. So we didn't get it all done yesterday. Rob worked on it a lot by himself yesterday. I was kind of in between here and working over with mama and papa over at the kitty condo. So we've got a couple projects that we've got going on here. Yeah, it's looking pretty awesome over there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and it's going to grow even more. We don't have spoiled grandkids or anything. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so anyways, we did get a few cattle panel up last night. You guys didn't see that part, but you can kind of see it in the background now. Um, so the cattle panels provide the arch for the greenhouse. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> um, so we've got a little bit more that we want to get done because it's getting ready to rain here. Yeah, it's, it's Sunday afternoon after church. We went out to eat and now we're home and ready to get busy, but it's going to rain at like 3 or so. 3.30. So we yeah. got like a couple hours. We're going to give it our best shot here. and See what we can get done. Yeah, so I'm going to take you over and show you a few details of where we're at and some couple things I got to deal with before we actually kind of move on. So... Let's do that. Let's do that. You got that. anything more to say first? No. Let's do that. Just excited <laughs> for this. <laughs> okay, so what we here we are looking at one of the sides. And what we're looking at is the fact that, see how these boards line up at the bottom there, resting right on top of that bottom board? Well, at the top, you can see how much difference in width that, the, that this board here is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take the level and mark a line there and taper it up to so that it's um, straight and I'm going to cut that off. And I've got that same situation on both sides. Over on the other side I got that same situation so I'm going to take care of that real quick. And then let me show you real quick while I'm here. The next thing I'm going to do is, so in the beginning yesterday I told you about these panels being 50 inches wide well I measured we I already had two and then I went and bought four more well these four more that I bought are a little bit sloppier made look at this see how they got the the things sticking past and so it's like just not so it like holds them apart from each other I can't get them any I can't get them tight against each other so what I'm gonna have to do I'm going to have to, because I measured and made my measurements for them to be exactly 50 inches. So that I'm going to have to cut those little tabs off on all of these panels here. Now, the other two that I have are correct. They, they don't have, they're not sloppy like this. So I'm going to cut these tabs off. You, know, you can see, look here, this one's sticking out that much. That one there is just barely, barely sticking off. They're just inconsistent. It's just not... I don't know if they're getting them from a different supplier now or what. I'm hoping that the total size, the length and everything matches up with the two that I already have. I haven't got those out yet. So anyhow, we'll deal with that here in a minute. But 
just so you know i'm going to cut these off both sides and then squeeze those tight and then weld those in a few places just some tack welds and then that's gonna that's gonna weld that's gonna make that whole entire greenhouse welded together and solid i know a lot of people are using zip ties just to hold them together but you see i've got a couple zip ties up there temporary just to hold them but those things uh only last a little while and the weld is good and if you don't have a welder then you know do, do your zip ties and just keep checking them every every year or so just to make sure but i feel good about the weld so that's what i'm going to do but anyhow so i'm going to have deb come over here and help me mark a line on this here so we can uh get get on with this project and there she is get on with this project <laughs> Okay, so we brought the next panel over. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna take this off. So I brought it over. You can see that not only, okay, so here you can see how they're nice and flush. There, there, and then there's the old one that's got that tab sticking out. Tab sticking out and flush. That's, that's the way they've always been, is that nice flush cutoff. And then at the end as well, they're always flushed at the bottom. Well, here on these new ones that I got, they're sticking out, which makes it makes them not makes line them not up. line up, which is ugly. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe just raising this up and off of the, my little rest and doing it that way. The other option is to go through and cut all of those tabs off of there. So anyhow, it's just annoying. I probably should have just bought all six new ones. But man, it was getting expensive buying all this stuff. So I don't know. See there, we got, got them all just not lining up now because, because of that. Look at that. Look how much that's sticking up. It's just really, really inconsistent and poor quality. So anyhow, enough of that rant, huh? Guess so. <laughs> what do you think, Lolly? Huh? What do you think? She's like, I don't know. buddy. to the next project which i think i'm going to go ahead and dig the holes for the door post so that's what's next so while he's dig grabbing the post hole digger so we can start the doorways right we're starting doorways now what's that we're starting doorways now yep. yes um just a word um we've got all this crazy stuff going around and people are getting sick and everything like that one of the things that we've started doing is elderberry juice. And so we're kind of excited. One of my friends, um, she has Mama Mayo's and uh, she does elderberry jams and juices and such. And so we just started doing a little uh, shot of elderberry juice every morning just to help with our immune system. And so we're excited because we're gonna be growing elderberries here too. Not sure where we're gonna put them, but we're gonna have elderberries here. So we're pretty excited about that. So. What, four post holes and we're good to go? Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, on with the show.
Okay, so what I'm doing here is to fasten that up there, I'm using what they call a pocket hole. I've got this jig, it's a, by a Craig, Craig jig. And you, the important thing is about these, it makes a really strong joint when you're doing like a butt joint like that. But the most important thing is to use cor the correct kind of screw. If you use like a regular kind of like a deck screw that's got the wedge on it, it will split that out. This here, I, mean, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to make it to where you can see how that makes like a little flat bottom on there to where that screw, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> that screw hits, bottoms that out and it like really pulls in good. So that, it goes in there you have to use this long square drive bit and it just goes in there and it bottoms out and it really holds good so uh so that'll just lock everything right nice tight in place huh yep. and then the, then the uh, insulation will go over top of that to protect the uh, stuff. the plastic. This was way smoother in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> And now we are all set. So I did just a little experiment, test experiment with uh, a piece of old gutter that I tore off of a job I was doing. I was lay laying in a scrap pile and I thought maybe I could make a little water catchment system with the gutter on that. So I, I took that little, I don't know, it's about an eight foot piece and I just screwed it on the other side. So let's take a look over here. This was, now this is just my test and just to see how much water would uh, accumulate off of this thing in a rain. So in, uh, I put this, I just screwed this thing up. That's, so, that's like, I don't know, seven feet or something like that. Seven foot piece of gutter. And I just screwed it up there and I got about the same kind of thing where it just drips off. And I just let it run into that bucket and I, that, it filled that bucket overnight in one rain. And I don't know how many hours it rained. We I knew we had a pretty good rain. But the next few days I did I grabbed another bucket and I kept switching them out. And I've been filling my watering can and using it for for watering. So decided that this is definitely a good source for rainwater. Um, so now that I decided that I'm gonna do incorporate an actual rainwater catchment system. Not not this thing here. I'm, I bought a 55 gallon drum barrel to uh, to put that in, I'm gonna hook up a pump so I can use sprayer and all of that. So your mom and dad's here. Cool. All right, so he's getting ready to do on this end of the greenhouse what the, he did on the other end of the greenhouse. We're gonna pull the plastic. We're gonna secure the plastic around the doorway and get ready for the door to go in. Thank mm -hmm. you.